my favorite fruits to eat and they're for specific reasons. These guys have awesome compounds that have profound effects in the body. All right, one of them has lower calories than strawberries. One of them is able to remove intestinal parasites, which has a cool study on that. One has a greater anti-inflammatory effect than some pharmaceutical drugs. And one actually lowers your blood sugar and improves your insulin production in your body. And also, Actually, I'm not gonna ruin it. Let's get into this video. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you a very common fruit that inhibits the absorption of all these awesome compounds that we're talking about today. A lot of people have a negative correlation with fruit. They think fruit equals sugar, sugar equals you know, increased blood sugar, diabetes. I really want to clear doubt in your mind with some of the benefits that I'm gonna talk about. And first, we're gonna start off with one of my favorites and probably the one that gets the worst discrimination and it's medjool dates. But this is the guy that was shown to actually improve blood sugar. Now, phytochemicals that are found in dates are actually able to stimulate the pancreas, which produces more insulin, which improves your blood sugar regulation, which is important for a lot of people, especially pre-diabetics. It's also because they contain a lot of fiber. There's a cool study done with pregnant women. So the weeks leading into their due date, the women who consumed dates daily for four weeks, they had a increase in the cervical dilation during labor. Those women had lower percentage of intervention and they had a high probability of a natural birth just from the phytochemicals in these guys. If you're pregnant, definitely give these guys a go during your late stage pregnancy. Next fruit I love eating is pineapple. Pineapple has a compound called bromelain. It is a protease enzyme meaning uh, that's an enzyme that could get produced in our gut that breaks down the protein. Paya has a very similar enzyme that helps break down protein. So, I mean, I like eating this with protein rich meals because it aids in that protein digestion. Solely eating it by itself, the body can absorb uh, these protease enzymes and it's been shown to have profound effects as an anti-inflammation. Now, people ramble anti-inflammatory over everything. Anti-inflammatory compound in pineapple is actually shown to be more effective than some pharmaceutical ones. It's shown to reduce pain and swelling and it's also been shown to speed healing. There's also a cool study with uh, inflammatory bowel disease. They looked at the biomarkers relating to that and when pineapple was introduced, those biomarkers actually were reduced. So anti-inflammatory, if you've got any gut issues, pineapple is a great, great, uh, I would consider a supplement to have in your diet. Next one on the li list that I love eating is papaya. Now papaya has again a similar en enzyme to pineapple, an enzyme that breaks down protein, it's called papain. You can get these in supplement stores where they get um, the enzyme, specifically bromelain and, and papain, and it's called digestive enzymes. But what's cool about papaya is the seeds. The seeds have been shown to remove intestinal parasites. Nigerian children who had intestinal parasites by testing their stool, and they gave them papaya seeds daily, they essentially removed the intestinal parasites from 75 to 100%. And compared to a control group, control group had a zero to 15% of the removal of parasites. But what I like to do is dehydrate the seeds. Actually, we'll just cut to the clip. It's pretty cool. You can either get just like a tablespoon, chew it up properly, the seeds on an empty stomach. Can make you feel a bit nauseous the first time you have it. So don't eat too many. The last one on the list is rock melon, honeydew, or even uh, watermelon. These are great because they're very high in water content. They're super low in calories. So I think like 500 grams of melon is probably equivalent to 150, 200 calories. So it's a great weight loss snack. And so I love having this stuff pre-workout. It's super easy to digest. You know, you can be having a bowl of this 30 minutes before an intense workout and it's 90 to 99% water. So it's just going to hydrate you, any minerals and a little bit of sugar to get your workouts going. So last one on the list, dun, 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 bananas. Bananas will inhibit 
any of these awesome compounds we were talking about today. The bananas have something called polyphenol oxidase. So it oxidizes the polyphenol. So this was proven in a study. They made a smoothie for individuals uh, with blueberries. Blueberries have something called anthocyanins, which are fantastic for brain health and reducing Alzheimer's. So they had a smoothie with blueberries and bananas. And when they tested their blood, they found that the blood that had the bananas didn't have any of the polyphenols in them because the bananas canceled out or oxidized those compounds. If you're buying organic blueberries that are like wild and you're spending half your paycheck on getting these blueberries, just don't have them with your bananas. The same goes for acai bowls. Acai bowls are fantastic because acai has 10 times the amount of uh, antioxidants and polyphenols than blueberries have. But when you go to order your acai bowl next time, just tell them to leave out the banana on top. So I'm Mike, I'm an accredited nutritionist. I really hope I encourage you to include a lot more fruit in your diets. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you follow anyone on Instagram or YouTube that tells you that fruit raises your blood sugar and that it's bad for you, unfollow them please.